Hey there guys, it's Tina and I'm back and I hope you guys are all doing well and staying safe. If you're also back, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me again. But if you're new and maybe you like what you see, please consider subscribing. We have tons of fun here on this channel talking about makeup and all things beauty and I'm getting ready, okay? It is Memorial Weekend. It is Friday night. I am going to a 90s dance hall party in Miami and I'm getting ready for that. I'm using a new palette from Glaminatrix. It is the Into the Night palette, you know? I also have like a couple of their other palettes, but pretty much I'm getting ready. I'm doing this fun look to match my outfit and we're just gonna chat and get ready. I am reading from Six Brown Chicks, which, <laughs> Oh my god, follow them on Twitter. So every Wednesday they have this section called Wednesday Wisdom and they post six questions. So these are questions that are submitted to them and they post them and it's a hot mess. So I figured we could get ready and just chat about Wednesday Wisdom because they are hilarious stories. I don't have anything else to talk about. So I figured I could read those stories and get ready so if you want to see how i created this look and chat with me just hang out and chill then let's go ahead and jump right into it all right guys so as usual we're starting off with a clean freshly washed face and body this time i filled in my brows i applied my eyeshadow primer so the nars complete matte conceal what is it oh my god somebody help me seal this in my memory so soft matte complete concealer all over my lids well not all over my lids i used it under my brow i used my mac lane low paint pot all over my lids and then i went a step further and added some of my long discontinued kat von d skin primer kvd beauty needs to relaunch that primer that primer was excellent can we bully them into releasing that it picks up color so well and it's like slightly beige so it lifts any color as well so i am trying to do something colorful i don't know how colorful i'll get i don't know how bold i'll get so i want to have fun with makeup and fun with this look since i am you know we're going to a party so let's have fun with makeup right that's the whole point but i don't know how much time i want to devote to a look but i have this new palette as i mentioned from glaminatrix cosmetics it's the into the night palette and it's one of the first palettes that they have not had to do a pre-order for so it arrived pretty quickly here are the colors. I have not swatched it as yet. This shade arrived kind of smashed, so I had to repress it. But the shades are beautiful, and they kind of match the dress that I'm going to wear. So I'm vibing off the dress, I'm vibing off the palette, and we're going to figure out what's going on. I also have their Glamorous palette. It's this burgundy palette, and it has some fun colors in there too, as well as the Nocturnal palette. So this one has some darker tones. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Then this one is discontinued because they only had a few left. It's You Beauty and it's a simpler palette, less poppy, but also has some fun shades. And I'm actually gonna start out with this palette because I want a crease color. You wanna come in, come in, come in. So I don't have much to catch you guys up on in this Get Ready With Me, so I figured as I mentioned in the intro, that we could read from Wednesday Wisdom with six brown chicks. If you want to cringe and laugh every Wednesday, you need to follow them. So I will leave them linked below. Again, it's six brown chicks on Instagram. And so every Wednesday, they post a series of six questions that are really like... There are many stories about something dramatic that's going on and I can't stand it. So we're going to read them, okay, from this last Wednesday. So, question number one. Let's start out with, she'll be right. She'll be right. She'll be right, which is this like, mauve I I don't know how to, it's like a muted rose brown, but like with a little bit of mauve to it, like almost a lavender to it. I'm going to buff that in the, ooh, that may be a little, well, that's fine. It will work. So question one, I was role playing, having fun and living my best life with an incarcerated pen pal, trading letters and dreams. He's locked up for nine years, so no harm, no foul. Okay, so far so good. 
I have a stack of beautiful love letters. So I'm just blending this in the crease. He wants a family. He wants to move into my refurbished Hyde Park home. He's celibate now and wants to make love several times a day. So I've put nearly 2K, so $2,000 on his books over the months that he promised to pay back. <laughs> I've sent him my daughter's prom graduation money. Girl, first of all, it's not even your money. He sent his friend from the outside over to pay me, but when we met, we hooked up instead and I didn't get the money. <laughs> so his friend came over to see you, to give you the money apparently, and you ain't get the money? My daughter's prom graduation fees are due and I don't have it. Also, his friend told him we hooked up and he's not responding to my letters. Advice. <laughs> What, what, what am I supposed to tell you at that point? This is a nice little wash of color in the crease. What do you tell somebody at that point? So you have this pen pal, you're putting money on his books, money that you were supposed to use for your daughter's graduation and now you don't have it? That's like messed up. Like why would you play with your kid's money for a man that's in jail? I don't understand prison love stories at all. Like these women that fall in love with these prisoners, some of them are doing life. So they're never coming out. Yet these women are falling in love. Some of them marry them and do like the conjugal visits. It's a whole thing. Like, what is that about? It can't be that bad. I mean, everybody needs love, but really? What are you doing, girl? What are you doing? <laughs> I don't understand. I have no advice. Let me see. Did, did people give advice on this one? Let me see. Somebody said, sis, you a hoe. And I can't, I can't laugh. Whoever you are, you're the dumbest mother alive. No matter what, never let a man come in between. This is what I'm saying, like how, I feel like I need to zoom out a little bit. You're too close, you're too close. Like how do you sacrifice your child's money for a man, a man that can't even pay you back because he up in prison? What are you doing, sis? What are you doing? <laughs> I can't, I can't. So the next one, question two, all right. Found my girlfriend's secret phone. Let's go in with the Nocturnal palette now and I'm gonna use the purple, which is Nightlife. And I think I need a smaller blending brush because I wanna concentrate this a little bit. Let's see, what do we have? Oh, let me use my Sonia Kashuk brush. So, found my girlfriend's secret phone. Each person is saved under fast food, such as Popeyes, Domino's, etc. Okay, I called a number and a man picked up. This is Wendy's, how can I help you? I, I overheard other men laughing in the background. I know she's cheating with several men. How do I expose her without her exposing me to my wife? <laughs> that escalated quickly, hold on. My wife is a stabber and I don't want that heat, help. <laughs> no, what? So you wanna expose your girlfriend for cheating but you're a cheater, so you're cheating on your wife with her. You don't want her to tell your wife, but you want to confront. Like, sir, these are the cards you were dealt. Like, play the game. Play the game. Like, what are we doing here? I don't understand married men that think that whoever they're cheating with, the side piece, the, the mistress, is supposed to be faithful to them. Like, I don't understand that. I had a married man that approached me with that mess, right? He was like, oh yeah, um, I wanna be with you, you know, I wanna, I'm not leaving my wife, but you know, you have to be faithful to me, you can't date anybody else, and I'm like, what part of this equation makes sense to you? First of all, you want me to be a side piece. It's never that great. I don't care what's going on. It's never that great for me to be a side piece. Like, what do I look like? Like, I'm not, I'm not like struggling out here for men. This dark purple nightlife is given everything that needs to be given. It's so good. Oh uh, my God. So I am going to be with you. I can't call you at any time of the day, any time of the night. If I'm lonely, you can't spend the night. Like, I know they're, they're married men that do that. Like, they end up, like, spending the night. They figure it out. But, like, I can't really have you, and then I can't have anybody else. You must set me for fool. And then, are you, what are you doing? Paying my bills? Like, I know some women, 
you know, accept that because they pay bills and stuff. I know a lot of Jamaican women do this. I don't know what it is about Jamaica and like mistresses, but it's like, it's a part of our culture for married men to have a wife and a mistress. And it, I, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it, which is one of the positives that came from leaving Jamaica because the way how I would not accept, like, what are you doing? Like, no, no. And this man said his wife is a stabber. So you know your wife has hands, but you're still out here cheating, you crazy. Let's go in with the pink, which is neon lights. How, what are you? <laughs> so your wife has all the smoke and you are playing with it? Like, you have no sense. You have no sense, sir. I don't know what help you desire. Like, you want to cuss her out for having men and laughing in your face, but you over here with a whole wife. A whole wife. Like, don't do that. <laughs> don't, don't do that. Like, you on your own. You're on your own. You're an idiot. You're an idiot, and you deserve all of it. Like, why, why should she not have men? If she's dealing with you, she can have men. She can have men. That's how I see it. Like, let her live her best life because she's not obligated to you. She's not married to you. She shouldn't be with you in the first place, but that's, you know what? Like, not my zoo, not my monkey, but you know what I mean? If y'all are already doing it, I don't condone it, but if y'all are already doing it, I don't know that you have any leg to stand on, sir. Like, you're in no position to make demands. Like, how freaking dare you? Number three, first date with Tynesha. Tynesha? Tynesha. Tynesha. I don't know how that's pronounced, but it sounds like it's Tynesha. It's pretty. Babysitter stood her up, so she brought her nine-month-old daughter on the date. <laughs> okay, she should have just canceled, sis. Cancel. Let's go with Moonlight, which is the neon yellow. This is in my dress, so I want to put that on the inner tear duct. Y'all are going to see, because I'll show you what the dress looks like. You'll see what I mean. Yas. Okay, that is pretty, but it's not popping as much as I want it to. So maybe I need a little bit more of that base, you know? No treble. So I'm going to grab a little bit more of the primer from Kat Von D, and I need a little brush. I need a little brush to apply this. Okay, let's use this pencil brush from Sonia Kashuk and not Sonia Kashuk, Sonia G. And we're gonna just amp that primer up. So if you ever want a color to really pop, you need a sticky primer. And if you can get one that's lightly colored, like a light beige or a white, you can get it to really pop. But I stay away from white because white on tan skin can be a little bit too stark. So I prefer to go with like a beige, so like this color. All right, cutest little chocolate baby that I've ever seen. Why are you calling the baby a chocolate baby? It sounds like you're white, I don't know. The three of us had a great time. Passersby smiled at us on the street. Tynesha felt like family to me. I proposed after a third date and I didn't have a ring. She said yes. <laughs> proposed after the third date without a ring and Miss Ma'am said yes. Hold up, okay? I grew up in a broken home and I fear that I don't know this woman well enough, but they're moving in with me in June. We're in... <laughs> no, stop that. We're almost in June. So they're moving in next month. And what happened? I just want to help her and protect her as she raises her child. Am I making a mistake just following my heart? Listen, listen. If you like it, I love it. Like, that's where I'm at. Let's go back in with that moonlight see if it pops now yeah it picks up a little yeah you see how it picks up a little bit more so you met this woman with her whole nine month old like pretty much close to a newborn like not even a year and you done proposed after three days because you felt like a family where the baby daddy at like what is going on like why you felt like <laughs> this was okay you like the thought of you know what you know what? You know what? If this child can get a good parent out of it, like, who the hell am I? But I don't understand the dynamic. Something doesn't sound right. Like, how are you just like, oh, I saw this child. I want to be a parent now because I grew up in a broken home. Something is fishy. I don't like it, but like, I don't know how to feel about it. 
because again if this child if something positive can come out of it like if the child can get a stable home and like you know somewhere to grow up and be provided for like who am i because he's saying he wants to support the child but like something doesn't sound right something just doesn't sound right to me the beautiful chocolate baby that makes me very nervous it makes me very nervous and i'm praying for tynesha that she figures it out maybe it's a good thing i don't know like who am i to judge i really am in no position to judge so again if you like it i love it i, I love it that's it i can't do nothing else like for real though all right let's prime our skin because we gotta do face ooh, ooh, ooh. i'm gonna go in with my gucci primer this is my matte primer I use this primer a lot when I'm going out because it's matte, but it also like hydrates my skin a bit. I have another matte primer that I'm gonna put on in like my really intense spots, like in my T-zone, because this doesn't really control oil that much. It just kind of gives my skin something to hold on to the foundation and it's really comfortable. So just gonna apply that. All right, number four, my son's second grade teacher assigned students to draw their future. My son created a comic strip about Weed Man who delivers free marijuana to all the boys and girls at school. He shoots people who steals his plants and kisses several women's breasts. <laughs> Christ Lord, my son was suspended for the gun joints. He told me he created Weed Man because my boyfriend and my boyfriend's sister sell weed from my apartment i work nights my boyfriend doesn't have a sister and he denied selling drugs who to believe what to do first of all first of all your son is in second grade second grade is how old eight seven eight right so <laughs> your son's about yeah second grade is is seven eight right because first grade is six so this is the matte primer I'm talking about. So it's from L'Oreal. It's the Prime Lab Advanced Derm Primer. This is the matte setter. It grips makeup, no shine, and skin looks rebalanced over time because it has 1% LHA and salicylic acid. I tried this in another Get Ready With Me. They sent this to me to test out along with a couple more of the primers in the line. So they have a green one, an orange one, which are correctors. And then they have this mattifying one and the pore smoothing one. This mattifying one, listen, keeps everything matte. Now, where your son gonna learn about the weed man unless he's being exposed to it? Hmm? Hmm? And, and he's telling you that your boyfriend, your working nights, has a, has a sister. And you're saying he doesn't have a sister. So Miss Ma'am is probably his side piece. And they over there selling weed. And you over here at work, like, what is going on, mamas? <laughs> like, I don't know. Like, I can't help you at this point. I'm going to use my Chanel foundation. I really like this one. I wore it the other day, and I was like, oh, yeah, I remember how much I like it. It's lightweight, it's matte, and it's a great color match. So let me go in with that. The shade I use is B80, all right? So let's go ahead and apply that. I don't, like, what do you want me to tell you? Girl, that man is cheating on you. There's someone over there selling weed and your son is being exposed to that. You may need to rethink some things. You need to go ahead, okay, and get you and your son out of that situation because that does not, that does not bode well, okay? He got suspended from school. You need, girl what are we doing here with the kids okay what are we doing with the kids you need to provide a better environment for your kids i don't know if you can that easily but you need to figure it out girl figure it out he over here cheating like the cheating doesn't even bother me as much as how it is affecting the child because this child is over there while they're smoking weed selling weed kissing breasts because he's drawing breasts and their guns look come on your son is in a dangerous situation you better get out girl get out now like for real what what like this is so i can't i can't you need to figure it out please please for the sake of the child if nothing else 
if nothing else for the sake of the child again i don't care if he's cheating on you like that's your problem like figure that out that's not my concern but how you mean who to um believe your child is doing this stuff it's not like they made it up so you gotta figure out what to do this is a new brush from mac it's the 171 short well s so i think s is for synthetic is that rain is that rain <gasps> no mm -mm. so i'm concerned about the child all right let's go in with concealer all right number five they have six stories so it's six stories every week and it's hilarious they also have a website they have a book too where they had posted like responses like follow-up to some of the questions that were very interesting so number five says my two-year-old daughter what is with the two-year-old i don't understand is spending summer break with my ex brian her father okay in quotations and paternal grandparents i'm sure those sneaky mofos plan on giving her a paternity test she won't pass that test <laughs> with a sad face what ma'am so <laughs> so this ain't her father but you pretending it's her father and you're scared they're gonna do a paternity test my daughter's real father is unknown unknown so this gets even worse but i know i was a few weeks pregnant when i met brian oh so you tied this child to this man that's not that's foul so how strong does my an emotional bond have to be in order to make brian and his family continue to support her how do i make the bond between my daughter and brian stronger before that summer break so he's been around for two years right because she's two so he's obviously been around for two years you are a few weeks so he's been with you longer than two years oh he may already have that bond like not gonna lie but why did you tie this baby on this man like what are we doing sis what are we doing like what are we <laughs> what are we really doing no 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 <laughs> brian and then people that are gonna find out they're gonna find out and what you're gonna do let me set my under eyes i use my Givenchy concealer did i mention that yeah so brian and then people that are gonna find out because <laughs> you know how parents are grandparents they're like we gonna check child especially now that dna testing is so accessible like it's so easy to get a dna test like you don't have to go amari you can get some <laughs> some quick dna um kits and and do the testing right but maybe they already love this child like it's it's been years right so they could really love this child already and they're already emotionally invested <laughs> Oh, maybe they won't take it out on the child, but maybe Brian is going to leave you because your time with the picnic. But two years is a long time to not know. I feel like you might know. There might be an inkling. If, is that just me? Like, I feel like somebody knows something, right? I don't know. I don't know how people do. I need to get my Botox redone so bad. I'm probably going to do it sometime during the summer. I'm going to go to New York and get it done because I can't find a proper Botox injector person. I am trying to find my bronzer. What is going on? I just got a new bronzer shade from Pat McGrath. So I ordered the, the darkest shade and there was a tan shade. So the two deeper shades from Pat McGrath from the website but on no on the sephora website but on the pat mcgrath website there is an extra shade in between and i just picked it up and now i don't know where it is hold on okay i found it it may not be my go-to but i figured i could try it out so it's this shade what this shade no <laughs> it's the shade burnished honey i hate the packaging so much it's so hard to open so it looks like this and we're just gonna go ahead I don't know. I don't know how you're going to fix it. Maybe you should have that discussion with, with, with Brian. Okay, let Brian know. Like, she's not your child. Like, have the discussion. Some men are receptive. Maybe he'll be like, nah, get out of here. But, you know, I mean, people are, well, I say that. I always, like, want to give people the benefit of the doubt. Like, they're not that dumb. But I come to find out that people are that dumb. What is this? What is that patching? No. That not look that's patchy what is that that's not good 
Ooh, so this color is given very red. This is not what I need in my life. And it's patchy. Oh my God, bad decision. I should not have gone with that. I should have stuck to my house lab. This is what happens when you have tried and true things and you go and pick up foolishness. So let's try my house labs just to blend everything together. It's nighttime, so it might not look that bad. No, it's going to look bad. I see it. What is, why, why is it doing this? Why is it doing this? I was trying to figure that out. And then for my blush, I'm gonna use my Dior blush just because it's been so easy to use. Girl, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. Have the discussion with Brian. He may be open to, you know, continuing to be a father to your daughter, even if she's not biologically his. He may be attached. I mean, if they're spending summer together with his parents, then that means he's already immersed this child in his life, in his family. So, I mean, it may be like a sticky step to get over, but it may not be like too bad. So figure it out, girl, figure it out. And then question six says, my fiance, we're planning to marry in August, sold my father $5,000 in physical Bitcoins. <laughs> The bitcoins were fake gambling chips that were spray painted gold. My father showed the coins off to my younger brother who exposed the scam and called the police. My fiance was arrested while we were having sex. <laughs> what is going on? My father is pressing charges and everyone is avoiding the fact that my wedding is coming. Girl, I don't know what to tell you. That wedding ain't gonna happen. <laughs> I feel like my father and brother are breaking up my family before we get started. How to fix this? You better give back your father the five thousand dollar. Oh, you're gonna make your fiance teeth the man five thousand dollar with a scam. Like your fiance is scamming. How you gonna scam family though? No, no, your fiance needs some beaten. He needs to be whooped, and you need to refund your father that money. There's no fixing that. Like, are you crazy? Your brother has every right to let his dad know that your fiance is a scammer. Good luck with the wedding. <laughs> Good luck, like, are you crazy? Like, where are you finding these people? Like, every time I read these things, I'm just like, where are these people coming from? They send in the questions to the six brown chicks and they like validate a lot of it. They're not just posting fake stories, they validate a lot of it. But I'm sure some of it slips through, like people are just exaggerating or making up stories. But like, it's nuts. Every time I read it, I'm like, are these people okay? They can't be okay. They cannot be okay. Okay, here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna get dressed, cause I kinda have to, Ah! Oh! Of course I would get mascara right there when I'm done. I don't feel like I need to put any lashes on. Like, I feel like the mascara may be enough. What do you guys think? Lashes are kind of uncomfortable if I wear them all night. So I'm thinking I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm gonna let that smudge fix. I'm gonna finish up the eyes, like put some mascara on the lower lash line and then like a black liner. Put my outfit on and I'll be back to finish up the video. All right guys, so I am back. I did end up putting lashes on and I think that, yeah, definitely helps the look out. I put black liner on my waterline and a little bit of liner just to conceal the eyelash band. Hold on, you know what I need to do? I need to pinch my lashes together so there's no separation. For my gloss, I use my Amico Lay Gloss. The shade is smitten. I think this is their newest shade, but it's just a pinky shade. Listen, I'm not trying to put any lipstick on because I'm gonna, yeah, I don't feel like putting lipstick on, but here is the final look. I feel like I need a little bit of bronzer on my nose just to give it a bit of shape. So I'm just gonna grab my bronzer a little bit, not too much, and just add a little dimension to my nose right there. All right, that looks fine. And here is the final look. I think it is great. It goes well with my dress. I'll show you the dress in a little bit, but overall, like, it's cute, right? Should I do some highlighter? I don't know, maybe maybe I'll do a little highlighter. Oh, let me see. I have this old one from MAC. It is the Here Comes Joy. Oh, it's a face powder. It's a highlighter, really. But 
it's from MAC. It's from their holiday collection. It's really easy. It's a really easy highlighter because it's not too shimmery, which I don't like a lot of shimmer. I think that's enough. All right, so here you have it again. Final look. I love it. Let me show you the dress. So the dress, let me come over here, all the way over here. Get the chair out of the way. Get the chair out of the way. So here is my dress, okay? It has pockets. <laughs> Anytime a dress has pockets, don't you love that? We say it. So you see it's like neon green, which is for the inner tear duct. I have pink and black and gold. It's cute. It's a cute little situation. You know, it's a cute little outfit. I'm going to wear flats because my feet hurt. And it's a simple outfit. I have gold accessories on. So I have like a chunky gold chain. I have an anklet on that matches this chunky gold hoops and then like rings and stuff. I have some in my pocket that I'm going to ask somebody to put on because I can't put it on myself and it's fine. It's fine. Here's the final look. Hopefully you guys enjoy like getting ready with me and reading the nonsense that is Six Brown Chicks and Wednesday Wisdom. It's a whole trip. You should go follow them. I'll leave them link below like I said. And yeah, I will leave all the products listed down below as well. I will also leave links on where you can pick them up. If there's an asterisk next to any of those links, that means it is an affiliate link, which means I will get a small sales commission if you make a purchase through those links. It doesn't change the sale price, it's just a great way to give back to the channel because it gives me a little bit of a kickback. So I really appreciate the support. Also follow me on Instagram and Twitter where you can keep up with my shenanigans. And until my next video, which will be very soon, I'll talk to you. Bye guys.